This video is going to show you how you can sideload apps onto your Fire TV Stick or Fire TV Cube without the need of downloader. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you how you can sideload apps onto your Fire TV Stick or Fire TV Cube without needing the downloader app. Now it should be said you are going to need an Android phone or a tablet to be able to do this. And first of all, we're going to have to change a couple of settings on your Fire Stick or your Cube. Press the home button. That's the picture of the house on the remote control to make sure that you're back to the home screen and then go across all the way to the right to the settings cog. Once that's highlighted, then go down to My Fire TV, then press the middle button on the remote and then you're looking for developer options. Now, if you like mine, you don't see it, then all you need to do is go into about and then find the name of your device and highlight it. Like mine, mine says Fire TV Stick 4K. Yours may say something different. Just press the middle button on the remote control until you see no need, you're already a developer, come up at the bottom of the screen. Then stop pushing the middle button. Then press the back button on the remote and there you should see developer options just below about. Go down to developer options, middle button, and then go down to apps from unknown sources. If it's set to off, like mine is, middle button on the remote control, middle button again, and then it goes to on. And then go up to ADB debugging and make sure that's switched on. So if it's off like mine is, highlight it, middle button, and it goes to on. Then press the home button on the remote control to go back to the main menu. The next thing we need to do is we need to find the IP address of our Fire Stick or Cube. So go across to the settings cog just on the right there, and then go down to My Fire TV, middle button. Make sure that about's highlighted, middle button. Go down to network and then make a note of the IP address as it's shown on your screen, not mine, because yours will be different. Mine says 192.168.10.190, but there's a one in a million chance that yours will be the same. So make a note of whatever numbers appear below IP address. Make sure you note this down carefully because you will need this later on in this guide. Then press the home button on your remote control to go back to the main menu. The next thing we need to do is we need to go to our Android phone or tablet and find the Play Store. That's this icon just here. Tap on that. Then go up to the top where it says search for a tap in there and just type apps to fire. That's A P P S, the number two, F I R E and then press the magnifying glass in the bottom right hand corner. You should see there apps to fire and the uh, underneath it, it should say Kony. Tap on that, tap on install and let it install. This bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your phone or tablet too. Once it's installed, then you should see the green open just there. So tap on open and apps to fire will then load. OK, so you have to go through the terms and conditions. Make sure that you agree to them. And then if you do, tap on agree. If you don't, tap decline. I agree to them, so I'm going to tap I agree. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go along here to set up. So scroll across to set up, tap set up. And remember that IP address I told you to write down. We're going to need to type that in there. So don't copy mine put whatever you had underneath IP address on your Fire Stick or Cube. So there you go. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to tap Save. A message should come up on the Fire Stick saying allow USB debugging. The very first time you're going to get an error come up on your Android phone or tablet. So what you need to do is to make sure that always allow from this computer, the box beside it is highlighted in blue like it is on mine. Then press the middle button on the remote control. That puts a tick in there. 
and then go down to OK, middle button. Then on your phone or tablet, just go to OK. So tap OK, tap got it and then tap save again. And hopefully this time it should connect. And there we go. So it says successful connected. So just tap the OK button. What we can do is we can tap the arrow pointing upwards just there, just next to the camera. Then we have to make sure that we allow apps to fire to access photos, media and files on the device. So tap allow. OK, so it says here you can choose files, app.apk or other files from your Android file system to upload, install to the Fire TV. So let's just tap got it. So I haven't got much in here at the moment in the downloads folder of my phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come out of here. I'm just going to press the button on the front of the phone and I'm going to go into Chrome and let's just go and download something. So I've gone to my website and I'll tell you what, let's download TV Bro. So tap TV Bro and they go. It asks us where do we want to download? So we want to go to the downloads folder, then just tap download. And as you can see there, it says downloading file or now it says file downloaded. So let's just come out of the browser. I'm just going to press the button on the front of the phone. I'm going to go back into apps to fire and then I'm going to just make sure that I'm still connected. Let's go back to setup, tap on save, make sure that the IP address is still the same. Yes, it is. Tap on save. It's going to connect. So it just says connecting successful connected comes up. So press on OK. And then I'm going to tap on the little arrow pointing upwards there. And what I should say, first of all, is I'm just going to show you that I haven't got TV Bro installed on my Fire Stick. Let's just go into apps and there we go. It's not there. Let's just get rid of the camera for a second. As you can see, TV Bro is not installed at all on here. So what I'm going to do now is tap and hold TV Bro and this can be any app. We've got a choice here. We can install it straight to our Fire Stick. We can upload it. We can delete it. We can rename it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap install. So it says Please wait a minute, upload and install on Fire TV. It's now in the process of installing. And there we go. Installation successful. And as you can see, it says TV Bro TV web browser ready to launch. And as we can see there, the icon has appeared on our Fire Stick. So there you go. No need to use Downloader whatsoever. Just use an app on your phone to quickly and easily install apps on yours or a friend's Fire TV stick or Fire TV cube. I hope this guide helps. And if it did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos on my YouTube channel. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.